Hey everyone and welcome to part 3 of creating a C-sharp RPG game. Now in this tutorial I'm going to go back over the user camera script. I actually left out a small part that I forgot to tell you guys about, which is the first person camera. Um, so the min distance was set to 0 0.6 and I guess some of you might have noticed that the first person camera was not working when you reached that distance. Well it's because it needed to be set to 10. Right here I had it set up in the user camera that at the desired distance of 10, which is how far away from the player that the camera is, that the first person camera would activate. Now there's also something wrong with this. The way that I had it set up was I had a my character, a child of the player capsule model. This way when I disabled or enabled the player it did not affect the user movement script which is something that we didn't want. Now, I mean, what you could do if you were just using your players, this model, is change this texture to an alpha texture. That way you could disable your main character and still be able to control it without any issue. Um, so yeah, if we went to our main camera, you see the user model that we plugged in was this one. So when you zoomed in, um, it would completely disable this model, disable the uh, user movement and all that and you wouldn't be able to use this at all. You wouldn't be able to really move around. You can still move the camera around but there were some issues with that. And so what we are going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to set it up if you actually have your own model that you want to animate and uh, attach to this. So for now I'm just going to be using a cube. What we're going to do is we're going to drag it over there to the capsule. And so we're just pretending that this is your your player model that you want to use for the actual for your actual game. So what I would do is I would line it as close as I can to at least the bottom of the model. You can actually probably scale this up a bit. I'm not going to be too precise with it, but you guys can be more precise with it. And also another good thing about doing it this way is if the calculations for which way the player is facing is off you don't have to do any complex math for actually rotating um, extra distance to make up for that. What you could do is you could actually just use the rotate tool and rotate it towards the direction that it's originally facing. So once you actually have that set up you can actually child that to the player model and what we can do with the player itself is actually go in here and drag an alpha texture to it and change this to transparent diffuse. So it'll be pretty much hidden. Uh, when you select it, it'll still show up, but we just don't want it to be there. And so what we can do now is go to the main camera and drag this onto the user model. So from now on, um, whenever we zoom in and we hit 10, um, this player model will just disappear. Now this is the one that's going to be just your main player model with all your animations and whatnot. Um, you can actually just do something with the user movement code. So if you went in here and depending on which button you're pressing you can do a certain animation and we can go over that later. But we're just trying to fix this up really quick. So if we go into the game, you notice that we have our cube model. It's hovering a little bit off the ground. You can still adjust that. But we have our same movement. It's going to move, move the same. What you could probably also do that might be causing some other issues is remove this box collider because we don't really need that. That might be giving, yeah, it was giving us some issues because it was trying to collide with that physics. But it, it should be working properly now. So then when we try zooming in, you notice that it disappears. I can rotate, look around, zoom out. It's always going to be facing that direction. And it should be working more properly now. <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update on that in case people are having issues. Um, I know this is not really a brand new tutorial or a full tutorial, but I just wanted to get that covered really quick for anyone who was having that problem.